Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I do have in it is MotoGP20, a game developed by Milestones SRI, which is usually the developers behind the MotoGP series, and it is using Unreal Engine 4, just like their latest titles. So for this video I will be using 1080p median settings, since it's, uh, I believe it's a good balance between graphics quality and performance. And looking to the requirements, we can already see bad news in here, because it says that we need an HD 7950 as a minimum requirement and unfortunately our graphic card it is kind of worse than that. So with median settings what I got was an average of 59 frames per second with a 1% low 42. The low settings I don't really recommend it because the graphics quality are quite bad. But the high settings and maximum they provided an average around 40 to 50 frames per second and they never did drop below 30 frames per second, so it's a good thing, but still, I believe that MotoGP20, it is a game that should be played at 60 frames per second, and unfortunately that's something that we can't get in here, so what I really wanted from, from this game is to have the maximum performance as possible, but without breaking the graphics quality too much, and the median settings, it is just perfect for that, and it is the setting that I do recommend you to play up this game. Yes, it is not 60 frames per second all the time, far from it, but still it delivers an acceptable performance for a graphic card with 8 years old already. I think it's pretty good that we are still able to play at 1080p median settings from a, a mainstream card with 8 years old, uh, this game. So, yeah, I think that's all that I want to talk about the performance. As for the game itself, the physics model are very different from last year. I'm not really sure why the guys do this. I mean, yes, there are a lot of new tracks and the career mode definitely improved from the last game. But still, the artificial intelligence seems to have a little bit of mixed reviews on Steam. Some people do enjoy the new artificial intelligence and some others don't really enjoy it. Also, like I was telling you, the physics are a little bit different. Some people complain a lot of lack of grip from the rear wheel. I do complain about one of the stuff that some people on Steam are complaining. It is every time you brake, uh, your back wheel is always lifting up from the asphalt. So it is kind of hard to control the bike. Sometimes it feels unrealistic and out of place. But some other times I think it is right. So it's a little bit of mixed bag. But still there isn't any other you know, any other game of MotoGP out there. And so, for the best of or the worst, this is the best and only game available for this type of sports, alright? So, MotoGP 20, it is awesome on that regard. It isn't really a bad game, but I feel like it isn't really perfect. And that's what pisses me off a lot. But still, Steam users are very happy. There is a score of 83% on Steam. Some people complain about the widescreen support, it is not great, the 21 per 9. But I do think that the game it is good and they are asking for 49.99. What I don't understand is why these guys insist in releasing uh, one different game every year. I think they don't really need that. I understand what they are trying to do, but still I think it is too much. But Anyway, like I just told you, for all intents and purposes, this is the best and only game that does MotoGP right. Alright? So guys, that's all that I want to talk about MotoGP20. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.